Hello, welcome back to Kim Reads as we continue with Louis Braille. A demonstration of dots. The old school building was dirty and cramped. For years it had been on the edge of tumbling down. Finally, money was found to build a new building and in 1844 the institute moved. Dr. Dufault planned the opening day ceremonies carefully. Many important people had been asked to attend. Teachers and scientists and government officials. There would be speeches, of course, but the best part of the ceremony would be an explanation. An explanation of Louis Braille's dots. Louis sat with the other teachers high up on the stage. He slipped into a seat just as the ceremonies began. He could hear the audience turning and twisting in their chairs. First came the speeches. Most were long and dull. The audience began to make whispering noises. Hurry, Louis thought. Finally, his turn came. First, Joseph Gaudet stood and wrote a paper explaining the alphabet. People were moving in their chairs and whispering. Then Dr. Dufo led a blind girl in front of the stage. She had big brown eyes and long curly hair. The audience grew quieter. Already, this was better than any speech. Dr. Duf Dufo opened a book and began to read. The little girl stood by his side and wrote down his words in Louis' dots. When Dr. Dufo finished reading, he touched the child onto the shoulder. Quickly, she skimmed her fingertips over the rows of dots she just made. Then word for word, she spoke them back. The audience was very impressed. Many rose to their feet and clapped, but, few refused, but a few refused to believe their ears. It seemed impossible to them. It's a trick! A voice yelled from the audience. Yes, she learned it before. A trick? The clapping slowed, but before it could stop altogether, Louis jumped to his feet. He touched his way over to Dr. Dufault and whispered in his ear. Dr. Dufault listened hard for a few moments, and he nodded and rose. He spread his hands wide. Wait, my friends, wait, he called in a loud voice. Give me a few minutes, and I will prove that what you have seen is no trick. Slowly, the audience grew quiet and again, and Louis let out a sigh of ir relief. That, that would wait. They would wait for a while. Quickly, Dr. Dufault called up two blind children. He sent one child on the room. Now, he kept the other by his side. Now, Dr. Dufault spoke to the audience. Will someone please come up onto the stage? Anyone will do. A man finally came forward. Dr. Dufault held out a pile of books. Please pick anyone, he said, and turn to whatever page you wish. Read anything you like. As the man read, the blind child wrote down the words in dots. Then the child was led back into the room. Dr. Dufault gave him the newly made age of dots. Please read what is written here, he said. The child nodded. His finger brushed lightly across the page of dots, and loudly and clearly he spoke them word for word. There could be no doubt this time. The audience stood up and cheered. Louis felt like shouting for joy. The first step had been taken. At last. And that's the end of that chapter. See you later.